For the first time in 19 days, Texas can say they're home sweet home. She will hit second, a 307 batting average tied for the team lead with fellow freshman Shayna Espy in the batter's box. And we're underway as the Kansas center fielder lifts this to right center and out of the reach of Ashton Maloney. A batting average numbers, but they're just consistent throughout that mirrors well with her curveball. And when she gets that going, it's a game changer. Runners at first. Just her, her presence on, on the field that she's physically fit and is for Mike Burwell behind home plate. To left, Alyssa Papelko will watch this. Six homer of the season, and Kansas an early 3 nothing lead. behind her on the outer half she's ready for it and she just drives through this pitch up and over that left center field wall great piece of hitting in both those games and would sweep the red raiders and only to come back from an early deficit offer at him but we haven't seen them offer at any either so unless it's right over the plate Alyssa Washington a third in the first out of the inning Anderson hitting 255 with those four home runs first one she's got called today Gets by checking into center. Third hit of the inning for the Jayhawks. 307 batting average tied for the team lead. Threes, and that's the only time a team sees her. She also doesn't usually start the midweek game. So a lot of times that's a long period of time between starts to keep yourself. And the glove of Katie Schimitz on the second. Out of the and Savannah De Rocher, the designated player at the plate. Bunt back to Simpson. Over to first to uh, Leanne Good covering, but the sacrifice is coming in. They're going to get to see a lot of what she offers quickly in this game. And see this program growing in her five years. Right into the glove of Simpson, who does the job. Texas gets out of the in her career this season. 80 and two thirds, striking out 63, but those to haunt you. So against Texas, you give them free passes, they're gonna make you pay. Nice job by Hamilton. On to first and 83 average is the lowest it's been this season. <laughs> and that's while she's in the midst of a five. Lifted to left and Presley Limbaugh runs to grab that one, two down. Talk about the freshman offensively for Texas left and right because they just continue to. Rozak at second in a one, two, three inning for Hamilton. I can admit, I don't think I've ever been to a spring football game, mainly because we were usually playing. <laughs> and of course, leading Texas to the national title one season later. Harper strikes out. How about the job so far? I know that's just three batters by Sophia Simpson. Third on the Jayhawks with a 302 batting at 25 nationally. And it's hard to be able to compete in the conference when that's who you're facing. Three of your seven your seven. It's easier to prepare when you're preparing for one team versus softball preseason. Has to follow and has to keep an eye on. Into the glove of good who doubles off SB with the throw to but Texas and their offense. They're known to make comebacks. First pitch to Courtney Day, and she singles into center to get things going. To or went to work with Coach Singleton on her stance and just being able to see pitches and really the ups and downs. But let's also not forget she's catching and catching for four different pitchers to try to keep them all in the groove as well. That's lead at Texas State. That would be the final score. She's had four multi hit games. It's the, a murderer's row right there of right handed hitters. Lofted into the glove of Harper at short. Texas seventh in the Longhorn lineup. Ashton Maloney's on deck. Linda from right. And after the leadoff single by Courtney Day, of an inning and allowed that home run to Bruno in the first. And that one that you're really going to be able to rely on in the next couple years. She belts this to left. Gone in the first two Big 12 series, Olivia Bruno went two for 16. She's two for two tonight with two round trippers. Right over the heart of the plate, 
right above the belt, and Bruno goes ahead and makes Sophia Simpson and Texas pay for that pitch. Phenomenal hitting team. We joke all the time when I used to see him on the recruiting circuit of how he tried to come up with game plans against me, but he is one of the best to match up at one time that she felt like they could compete with the best teams in the country. Runner going, and that throw gets into center. Moore will take third. Play of the plate, throw off target. Making her way to second is Anderson. Let's throw home and get a play. But rushes it, throws way wide over 200. And Rozak, who's coming up, is under 200. And she's been able to utilize in that in the strike zone. The unfortunate. Base hit. Second three run inning of the. 0 2. You don't have to be close to the strike zone right here. And De Roche goes ahead and stays up with it. You see her swing under that just enough. It gets up. Kansas, big, go ahead. Sorry, the big thing is just Texas hasn't executed their. Pick. De Roche is trying to get to second. At second base in the dirt, so it's not a pitch that Rozak has to even consider swinging at. Got her. They throw a pitch and almost take it and get their timing, and that's part of their hitting circuit. With the nine home runs, but Maloney's hang, having herself a solid campaign, lifting this to right to Lindoff though for out number one. Yeah, I should have loaded the word. Just 43 at bats this season, but all athletes that has put on a burnt orange uniform. Stays fair. Good throw by Moore over to Bruno for the second half. It's, it's a much different look than when I was here in school. And we didn't have the slum those. I think right. coaches might be able to get tickets or access. So I yeah. it... Maybe one of the best hit balls by Texas so far. The dangerous top of the order do up after. We've all had success against Texas. Our defensive changes overall. Another KU hitter ahead in the count on 2-0. A rip to left, but into the glove of Popelka. And then was patient and earned herself a walk against Simpson. One hop into the glove of Simmons, two down. Kansas coming in 11 and 0 when scoring six or more runs. Off the glove of Simpson, and so she'll have to face Bruno. Oh. But that was an opportunity to have a one, two, three inning and not have Bruno. Up. And after the four pitch walk, there's. You guessed Mike White prefers. But the key is that you're going to have to come back and attack the strike zone against Moore. You cannot let Moore get a. Simmons. And strategy works. Simpson gets out of the. Chip away at this lead. Off the bat of Mia Scott carrying and off the wall in right center. But Texas with their first runner in scoring position. To short, Harper, and she throws it away off the glove of Anderson. Scott will get to make a spectacular play when we don't have to right there. And at the same time, Texas has two. Feel the third, and Mark Cora says Day goes around to strike out. With runners in scoring position, right now is a situation. If Texas does not score in this, you get. To right center, it's a gapper. Scott and Martinez. Low and outside, that was the pitch that was the first strike against Atwood in this at bat. She attacked it past the infield. Double off the two, one count. Go seven and only give up maybe three or four. Got her. Big strike up for Hamilton, two down. Washington aggressive on that first pitch outside after seeing. Playable. 
Moore hauls it in. Three runs in the third. She's had to battle through some adversity. Four pitch walk. Fourth walk by a Kansas hitter. And Bunt stays fair. The sacrifice and trying to move over to. Granted, as soon as Reese Atwood called it, Scott should have vacated and gone back. But if. Bunt. Tag. Ball out of the glove of Scott. Runner safe. And making her way to. Martinez not at the bag. Nobody at the bag. So Mia Scott hits Martaining the offense that they've been able to put up are going to force the issue. They're going to take extra. She told them to come in and not play scared. And at no point that has it seemed like they were afraid of playing the number 18 in the country. The thing we can beat and take some wins from teams that are in the top 25 in the country. Gets away from Atwood. De Roche scores. Can't continuously short hop your catcher. That ball bounces before the plate. But when it bounces that early, the angles it takes are so hard to block. Harper goes down, but KU has responded their best in seven years. Well, almost two runs a game better this year than last year. And the key that I see is one up. Even Reese Atwood's hit was not a fat pitch. Reese Atwood did a good job of staying with him. Obviously, they have done that today. Three in the first and three in the third to put him up 6 nothing. Or moving to Kansas. Pelka works the walk with one out here on the fifth. First, just a second here. First, get the first pitch to Leanne. Good. Ripped into the glove of Rozak, and they double up. Pelka. promise you, fans. Three run shot. Jennifer McFalls, Kansas head coach in the third base coaching box. By Longhorn pitching today, gave up to three hits, including the home run to a little. You have to reset yourself and be able to attack these hitters with certain pitches. Good running grab by Popelka. One. Six hits for KU, but helped out by five Texas errors. Horns have played up hill since the start. Tough play check in time not necessarily avoiding her I'm just I would honestly avoid the inner half unless you're going there to keep it down in the zone it's hard for hitters to hit got her Bruno goes down for the first Casey Hamilton starts her sixth inning of work she's been awfully good just quickly nice job Scott works the walk after getting behind one and two scored in the two run fourth looking for her first hit of the night Back-to-back -back walks to begin the sixth. Five hitters that she's walked. Really three of the last four. Day two. Strike three call. Atwood has the run producing hit for ten. To the left side. Dive by Harper to third, not in time, but what an effort. But Make sure that everybody is safe in the long horns. Now a defensive replacement, Peyton Renzi. Now is in. To center, coming in, Espy makes the grab. Scott will score from third without a well simmons does a good job gets the barrel just a little bit off the end of the bat that allows this to be a liner sinking liner this is here with the bases loaded and two away well she knows she's coming in with when her team needs her most she gives called strike three Casey Hamilton get turnover and you get the type of players that you want to coach that are co kids you recruit it's not just him uh, 
Watch out for Quinn Ewers, too. Easily the more experienced of the two, of course, on this level. And still should be a lot of fun. Really made all the difference for her so far since coming in in the sixth inning. Force a swing from Anderson. Right into the glove of Chuck. Two down. A lot of times you can get it to a middle infielder. Peyton Rinzi lifts this to left. And go. And just her ninth at bat of the season, her second round triple. You know, cell check, setting it in. Half. And Rinzi just stays up and through it. Again, not on top. Win over Tulsa, March 15th. Talk about going in. If you're going to go in and up, it's got to be up above the letters. Always go home a winner, right? Check swing. Scott at third. That'll do it. Solo shot by Renzi. Gives Kansas. Mentally, she's in this game, but she rises to the occasion when the pressure's on. One away in the seventh. Forced Hamilton to second guess throwing that off speed pitch. She threw it. That Texas knew she had it, but she's really been relying on it in the last three. Renzi and right. Texas is down to its final out. 24th, 2002 against number four, Nebraska. That was my freshman year in college. <laughs> Ripped to center, base hit. And Scott is on base for the third. Don't necessarily come back six runs with two outs. But if a couple of these hitters get some more looks. Looking to finish it off. Into the glove of Bruno. And how she ends it with the grab, and Kansas has ended its 15-game loop.